Now, so now coming on to the second question, and that is, you know, as a medical student, um, you know, medical, medical students have a lot of stuff to study. We have a lot of uh, uh, <laughs> things to do. It gets really hectic. So how do I, how do I find time uh, in this hectic schedule of a medical student? Because ninety percent of the students find it hard just to just to keep up with the syllabus. So in this busy environment of being a medical student, uh, how did I manage to create content? So that was the uh, that was the second question. Now now the answer to this question uh, it has a couple of parts, right? So if I have to you know just uh, <laughs> just boil it down to three things, you know, in my opinion, I think it all boils down to three things. You know, firstly is how big of a priority something is. Number one. Number two is deadlines, right? The power of deadlines, the power of urgency. And number three is systems. Like what system are you using uh, to get stuff done? Now, I've, I'm sure that you have heard about this, um, uh, this saying, you know, if something is a priority, you will make time for it, right? If something is in your mind, is in your head 24 seven, and it is so much of a priority to you, right? You will find time to do it because it is number one priority. So ask yourself, what is your biggest priority, right? In your life, what is your biggest priority? Everyone, including myself, you know, we all want tips and tricks. You know, we want hacks, we want shortcuts. Um, <laughs> and the fact is there are no shortcuts, right? If at all there is a hack that I want to give you, it is that to realize that there are no hacks. Making something a priority would be the biggest hack. Right? You will naturally find a way to incorporate something into your life or, or to make time for it if it is a priority. The like, fact is we all have 24 hours. How much of a priority something is, will dictate how much time and energy you're gonna give give to it out of this 24 hours a day. I think it is as simple as that. You know? Now the second thing is about deadlines. Now the unfortunate truth is that how much of a, a something is a priority, right? Even if we, uh, <laughs> even if something is really important to us, we tend to procrastinate or we tend to be lazy and we tend to not get thing done in time. So you know, having deadlines uh, gives gives this false sense of urgency. If you have a deadline, you know, I'm sure that you will get stuff done before that deadline you know i mean you are much more likely to get stuff done before that deadline there is a saying that work expands to the time given to it so if you give something x amount of time it will take x amount of time to get it done we can actually make use of this idea of this concept that work expands to the time given to it and we will get the stuff done <laughs> before the deadline so make deadlines uh, uh, into whatever that is you're doing like tell yourself that you're gonna do this <laughs> before this amount of time and guess what you will do it at that time so that's the power of deadlines now number three is systems so systems is kind of like a broad word um, it includes a lot of stuff but i think the simplest example of a system would be a to-do list right so to-do list where you jot down stuff that you want to do and you just tick them off and <laughs> it's as simple as that that is a system so there is this quote uh, in this book the atomic habits and that is uh, we don't rise to the level of our motivation rather we fall down to the level of our system so most of the time we think that if we are inspired if we are motivated we'll do something right we'll do x or we'll do y uh, or when we are motivated that is not how things work you know because motivation is rarely it rarely happens in the grand scheme of things it, it rarely happens and uh, it is foolish kind of foolish to rely on motivation because it, it rarely comes right <laughs> you, you can't be motivated 24 7 you, you can't be motivated all the time so motivation is is not gonna help you right you don't you don't rise to the level of your of your motivation rather you fall down to the level of your systems so system is like this basic habit that you have uh, this basic uh, discipline that you have so if you have example you have something to do you write down in your to-do list and you get it done right that's a system so you, we, we fall down to our systems so it is important to you know make habits it's important to make disciplines and it is important to make systems that will help you uh, doing the stuff that you want to do so prioritize making a system that works for you right can be a to-do list can be a complicated worksheet i don't know something like some notion template <laughs> that you have can be anything so systems basically basically help to streamline any process that you have right any work that you want to get done you know systems is like the limiting factor of how can you get that stuff done so uh, make a system and stick to it and that would be that would be my uh, my suggestion